Hello everyone, welcome to my tips and tricks and today I'll be showing you a trick on how to sew luxury laces. So I know some of us are so scared whenever a client brings this kind of beautiful lace to us. We are like either chasing them with prizes or we are either trying not to take the cost from them. But today, I'm, tell, I'm coming to tell you how to easily make these um, luxury fabrics. So there's one thing I've observed with luxury fabrics. Whenever you try to cut it, you see beads running off or you lose you lose like almost 90% of your beads when the cloth is done. And most times your clients keep asking, where are my beads on my, on my fabric and all that? You can't even explain where they are. But when you finish making your clothes, you see more beads on the floor than what you have on the dress ball. Now, these are the tricks I use on my luxury fabric. So the, what and what do we need to do this? Then you're using your UHU gum. We all know this UHU gum. This is about um, 1,900 or 1,800 depending on your location. Or you use your B6000, there's a B7002. So depends on my mood and depends on what I'm doing. So for today, I'm going to be using my B6000 because uh, I'm not trying to stick anything together. I'm trying to use it as a stopper. And I like how the fact that B6000 have a very pointed mouth on like UHU that like you can't really control how the gum comes out from the nozzle. So this I'll be using. So what I do most times is that I wherever I intend to sew for now I've cut out what I want for my fabric already so this is like what is left of my fabric that I'll be using for something else so um, what I do most times before I cut if I have so much time on my hand I go ahead to my fabric and stop most places stop most I just use my gun to stop the, th the thread behind I'll go to the back of my fabric first of all turn the flip the back of your fabric then take your gum and stop the thread holding the beads on your fabric. This is just a a veil, a net. What are luxury fabric made of? Most luxury fabric are made of net stones, then luxury stones and beads and what have you. So it's not so serious. Just stop, stop your fabric with your gum. So I've done this method before, but I realized it takes a lot of time for me. I end up spending more time to prepare the fabric before cutting than making the dress itself. So most time, what I do is that I, I now realize over time that this fabric comes in cuts, and most times the fabric, the thread do not run off on time. But trust me, the the the, the, the bit are going to run off if you try to be careless with it. So and you don't want that for your fabric. So this client, this um, fabric still has a cut of the fabric. You don't really care because you don't have. At all, at all, the beats will not run off for the whole five years. Are we okay now? So that's what um, they do. But what I do is that I'll try to cut my fabric, cut what I need for my fabric. Then, after I finish cutting the shape I want, I stop and I take my gum and stop the just imagine this is an edge of my fabric I want to be using. I'll just stop some places, not everywhere, not to use the gum to run everything. Just look at, look at how the threads are intertwined and just simply stop the starting point of the thread so if i feel like this place is more intertwined uh, it, it's linking to more beads i'll just go and stop it somewhere that no matter what if i'm losing if i cut off a thread from here it will affect the rest of the beads so i can stop here as well bear in mind the part you are going to be sewing you understand the part you're going to be sewing on so give your allowance and stop before your allowance so after i do that what do i do i go to the front of my fabric and i then trim. I cannot conveniently trim off my beads. That place will be free for me to sew. I'm not going to lose other beads because I've already stopped the shedding of the beads and pearls. So cut, cut, trim, trim, trim as many as you want to trim. And that's it. I've already stopped the beads. I'm not going to lose my fabric. I'm, I'm only going to lose the beads on where I'm going to be on the allowance I'm not needing. So it will be very easy for me to sew. I'll do the same thing for all my allowances, both my um, darts or whatever, if I'm going to be cutting my fabric. Most times, I don't really cut my luxury fabrics because <laughs> you don't really want to cut your luxury fabric. You don't really want to cut your luxury fabric because it looks very poorly made whenever you start seeing drawing, drawing all over your luxury fabric. So most of the time, I sew my, bo my bodies with my underlying and I place my fabric on it and I just try and manipulate 
and well that's for another day so so yes another luxury fabric i'll be making you can see this is really beautiful this is a very beautiful one i love this i can't tell my favorite yet maybe you should leave that in the comment section which fab which of this fabric is your favorite by the way i got this fabric from judam's judam's stores they are based in abiyakuta they sell amazing fabrics so this is one of the fabric i got for them it's actually imported so i'm just going to look at where i'm going to be sewing i'll stop it with my gum like this one now you see these flowers i have to i can just as well stop all these ones at the edge so that in case i cut off something it will mess it up or if i'm going to be cutting along this flower i'm going to stop the needle like this put a straight gum to it so yeah that's it and i can stop somewhere else wherever i think so just play with your gum some i've seen some some tailors use hammer to break the beads at the front that works if depends on the kind of accessories your luxury fabric is carrying if your luxury fabric is carrying stones it's easy for you to smash but if your fabric is carrying pearls it is a little bit tricky for you to, to smash and also you have some little bit of residues from what you have smashed that can break in your needles and that's, that's where your frustration starts from whenever you are sewing beaded fabric so i hope i'm able to call your beaded fabric phobia with these tricks and tips see you next time bye